Oh, hey, Tim Bader here. I'm back in the greenhouse tonight. My cork valve came in today. This is an auto fill valve that I told you about. I'm going to show you how I put that on my reservoir. We'll get to that a little bit later on. Um, also, a new mic came in, a uh, live prodigy. So uh, let me put that on and uh, maybe hear me a little bit better. So here's my new Dutch bucket set up. I got six brand new buckets. I uh, built them this weekend. It took me about five hours all total to do everything. Got a combination of some uh, kitty litter buckets here. I got some uh, Home Depot buckets. Um, so sometimes if you can't find free buckets or you can't find the buckets like um, MHP Gardener had, just go to Home Depot, Walmart, Lowe's, buy you some. Don't let that stop you. I actually found a new source for buckets today I'm going to share with you later on. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to show you how I built these things. Again, I copied Bobby at MHP Gardener. Thank you, Bobby. I appreciate it. You inspired me. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I just thought I'd show you how I did it. It's pretty much exactly the same with just a few little tweaks. Maybe you can glean a little something from mine and help you. Anyway, I had fun making the video. And uh, thank you, Bobby. You inspired a lot of people. These things are a lot of fun. And so with that, let's get going. We'll build these Dutch buckets. So here we are. Getting ready to start on some Dutch buckets. Got us a cat litter box here. A bucket. Got our O-ring that I've talked about uh, before. And uh, I use a spade bit uh, simply because I have a spade bit. And um, if you don't have a hole saw, this will work. And uh, actually, it, they're a whole lot cheaper than a hole saw. So I use a one inch spade bit. Put my uh, hole three and a half inches up from the bottom. And uh, just take your time with your spade bit. And um, don't, don't, don't rush the bit through there. Just let it cut itself through. Clean it up a little bit. That's all there is to it. So then you take your O-ring. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer if I can. Take your O-ring. Uh, some people put, you can put a little bit of soap on it if you want to. Or a little bit of simple green, but typically they'll pop right in. Just kind of work it in, getting it into the groove. I'm hoping that this is going to be a little bit tighter than my, when I put it in the round buckets that I buy, they, they tend to leak a little bit. I think it's because of the curvature of the bucket. Um, so on this one, I'm not going to put any caulk on it. I'm just going to put the, I'm going to put the pipe through it, and uh, so then I just take it and kind of push it out against her like that. So that's what it looks like once you get your O-ring in. That's what it looks like inside. So then I took a uh, my through pipe, it's seven inches, and so I'm just going to stick it right through there. You put a little something on you, on your through pipe. Um, I use this simple green. Um, it's environmentally friendly. I don't think it'll hurt the plants um, and I just just squirt a little bit on here and then to hold the hold the ring from the back and then kind of twisting it as you go so it is tight if it's not tight it's not going to seal so you get it going through there you see that and then I kind of see my O-ring kind of pop through a little bit right there. It's coming back right there. Now. So it kind of popped through just a little bit right there. You can see it. Anyway, there you have it. And then you can adjust it in and out depending on where your where your drain's at. And then you just take a couple ninety. Bought these at Home Depot last night. It's like two dollars and something for ten of them, so they're like twenty-two cents a piece or something if you buy them in bulk. And so this will go on the outside like such, and then another one goes on the inside, pin it down. And then the only thing left to do is, and I won't do it until I put my drain in, is cut my my last little down piece to fit however long I need it from the drain and I measure that after I make my drain put the slope on my drain so 
There it is. There's a Dutch bucket made out of cat litter. All right, I did want to mention I used the kitty litter buckets and they seem to be working really good. The square edges like Bobby had on those white buckets he got seems to seal better um, with the O-ring, but you can just buy, uh, if you can't find buckets, the easiest thing to do is just go to Home Depot, Lowe's, or Walmart, buy a bucket. I think these are $3. Um, Walmart, the blue Walmart ones are really what I like. My local Walmart didn't have them, but uh, I think they're $2.50. They're the cheapest you can buy. But $3, that's not that bad. I mean, a commercial uh, Beto bucket is about 6 or $7, I think. So again, I moved my hole up to four inches to allow for the slope of my drain. You want to mention that. And uh, when you use the round ones, sometimes the O-ring seals good, sometimes it doesn't. So for me, it's not worth it to chance it. Put the O-ring in and uh, put a little bead of caulk right around the outside of it just to make sure. So we drill this hole. I want to mention when you're using these spade bits, don't force it. Let the bit cut this outer circle slowly or it'll grab it and, uh, and pull chunks out of plastic. So you kind of see it. You kind of see how it's really cutting nice right there. Let it cut it. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Same, same, same uh, process as putting the O-ring in on the, uh, you know, the square buckets. These are a little bit thicker. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it sealing. I don't know. But, uh, pop it in. Make sure you get it in the groove. Then it does pop in. Then I take it, push it. And then after I put my through pipe through, I'll put a little uh, bead of caulk around it just to make sure. So the fans then cut on in here. I hope you can hear me. I changed my mic. It's hot in here though. So. I'm glad for them to cut on. Anyway, um, I just bought a tube. Instead of using a caulk gun, it's just a small amount. Um, and so all I'm going to do is so squeeze a little bit around. I just take my finger, I like to get a finger and just kind of spread it out in that little crack between the O-ring and the bucket. Like I said, they don't always leak, but sometimes they do. All right, so I wanted to report back. I know I put some, I showed me, showed myself, I showed you I was putting caulking around this and uh, so I did a test and it looks like these o-rings I must have done a little bit better job drilling the hole um, you can see what I did was um, I turned the elbow upside down and and uh, I filled it up with water up to the elbow and um, it's been sitting in there for about 10 minutes and it's not leaking at all so if you're careful with your hole and everything goes well I'm, I'm not gonna put caulk on these um, you don't have to wait for it to dry so just a little so that's the shot of um, all the outflow pipes installed and my drain put in just to measure everything up. I got the outflow pipes 15 inches apart. <laughs>